Hey guys, Jin here, and welcome back to another episode of Outer Wilds. We are gonna jump right into things. Head up the elevator, get back into our ship, and take off toward the Ember Twins. Because those are two planets that I haven't explored that much still. And I think there's a lot of stuff there still. So let's go ahead and suit up. Oh gosh, I'm getting all turned around. Uh, let's view the ship log before we go. Um, there's a quantum signal coming from somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. Right, there's another escape pod there. Which I think would be useful to find. Um, and we have the... Uh, the shell to seal off the weird mind things that I see when I respawn. Yeah, we got, a, we got a lot of stuff there still. We got a lot of stuff everywhere still, which is very exciting. <laughs> There's a lot to this game still. I don't know if I'm just bad at discovering things and going slow or taking my time, but I'm glad there's still a lot of content left because I am having a lot of fun with this game. Let us autopilot our way over there. And yes, I know the DLC is out and been out for a little bit, but I figured I should probably beat the, the main game in its original form before I even buy that and install that. But I am definitely interested in checking that out. But we got Metroid Dread happening, so I don't want to do too many things all at once. <laughs> well, look at how empty this looks. This is weird, because I got here right at the beginning. So wow, that's like really empty this might be my opportunity to get in here so I'm gonna land quickly and try to take a look as fast as I can before this starts filling up with ash because I'm not quite sure how this planet is gonna work yet oh I don't want to go down that hole and the gravity is so low here it's literally showing up a zero on my radar so we got this big old thing. Whoa. Let's shoot the scout. And oh, I'm sure you noticed my webcam's on the left side, which does cover up my fuel and oxygen meters, but I figured it's better to see the scout pictures because last time I was using them so much in the the bramble and yet my webcam covered it most of the time so I figured I'd go on the other side this time there's definitely a lot of stuff down here um, let me rotate myself yep there's definitely stuff to read down here um, but the best way to get down there just to literally go off the edge see it's already starting to suck up the stuff. This door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on the extraordinary findings from the White Hole Station. An update. The High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help, be sure to use the Sunless City Path to the lab. Raimi and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So, although it's inconvenient, the lab can only be accessed from the path from the Sunless City. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realize this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed. So, this is the high energy lab, but I can't access it from here. I need to find the Sunless City. Which I don't quite know where that is yet. But this seems terrifying. Um. Sunless City, great, fantastic. Um, crash site caves. Only problem with this is that's all ghost matter and I will probably die. Okay, so I can walk about this far without getting hurt. If I shoot that, that goes down. I think I will die before I make it in there. Is it worth the risk? Or do I wanna go to the crash site? I think it's worth the risk. YOLO, ready? Oh, it's all the way down. Oh, okay, the ghost matter goes all the way down the tube. Okay, well that sucks. 
So we're not getting down to the Sunless City that way. Well, shoot. It appears like there's a lot of things here. Oh boy. What do I want to investigate? There is a gravity cannon, which is interesting. Let me pull out my signal scope and see if I can find the distress beacon. Escape pod is 300 this way. Okay. Let's, oh, not in the crack, preferably. There we go. Cool. Alright. We landed pretty close to the edge here. Let us go over here. What is this? Ooh. Well, this is dark and spooky. Okay, we're going down this tunnel. I'm just kind of like willy-nilly haphazardly going into places. I don't really have a set plan in mind. Ooh, well that seems pokey and would puncture my suit basically instantly. Let's not do that. I don't want my suit punctured. Um, ooh, there's some writing here. And lots of Pokeboys. Hello, Pokeboys. It's interesting the writing's on the floor here. We haven't seen that before. Uh, Mellory. Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole, several days ago. We were unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I beg any of... Uh, I beg any friend reading this help us recover him. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed? We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us there. An update. Uh, Melloray and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed the rock again. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon. How curious. So there's another quantum rock here. Interesting. Quantum fluctuation. Oh my gosh, that's loud. Um, well, I'm not seeing it in here right now. Uh, let's go to the distress beacon. How close is our distress beacon? 200 meters below us. Okay. I can probably figure out how to get there. Oh shoot. Not in spikes, preferably. That would be nice. All right. It seems like a lot of our stuff is going to be below down here. And I feel like this planet is going to get difficult. Because the longer we're here, the more this fills up, I think. So the distress beacon is where exactly? Here. Is just dropping straight down a bad idea? Probably. And do it anyway? Probably. I don't know why. I don't know if there's even anything down here but death. Let's just go. Does this, like, kill me? I literally can't see a thing. This is so dangerous. Why didn't I throw my scout down here first? Maybe I should do that. <laughs> now that I reached the bottom. Yeah, so look at it. It's starting to fill up. With the ash. Uh, so we have like a we have to do this planet quickly because the longer we're here the more this fills up and the less access we're gonna have so let me get out my signal scope uh, let me go to the distress beacon it's still deeper Wait, what oh my gosh how deep does this planet go this stairs to get back up. I don't want to get up. I want to go deeper. So I'm assuming all of this gets filled up with ash or sand or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like an... Oh! Oops. It's hard to see down here. First of all, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get to the escape pod from this side. 
It's fine. We explored. We live and we learn. Oh, jeez. I think we're gonna about to get buried alive. Alright, we're fine for now. The distress beacon is... I think probably on the other side is going to be our best bet to get it. Uh, let's just explore more planet, shall we? Luckily, this is very easy to, to get around, although it does use a lot of fuel. Oh, shoot! That was fast, but it worked. Yeah, let's go to this side. Man, it is so hard to see. Get me my scout to better look around here. There's just more rock. So, Distress Beacon is over that way. Whee! Alright. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Shoot. Gosh darn it. Oh, did I find it? There it is. Are there trees here? Whee! Uh. Slow. No, 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 no. Don't fall in the hole. Oh, come on. Go. What are you doing? There we go. I am running out of fuel. We've identified it as Escape Pod 2. Perfect. Let's go inside. Maybe it'll refill my oxygen? That'd be nice. Alright. We need status reports for all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? Yes. Hopefully. Our escape pod's passengers are afraid, but physically well. Anona, everyone survived the crash. Aw, yay. There's a relief at least, you have my gratitude, but were you able to find the other escape pod's distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in this star system, but I don't believe either has crashed on the same planet as us. Yep, we knew that. Let's go down here. This is where all the juicy bits are. Escape pod 2, vessel has been mortally injured. So the vessel is like a living ship, then? Emerged because they, they use a lot of like biological terms when they talk about it. Awaiting departure from vessel. Escape pod three, launching. Escape pod two, launching. Collision imminent, prepare for impact. Scanning, external environment. Scan complete. External temperature is pro prohibitively high. Inhospitable, do not seek shelter on planet surface. Hence why everything is underground. Makes sense, makes sense. Here's the escape pod door. Keep moving, my friends. There is nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. And while rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. Do not follow this tunnel to the end. Coleus and I will examine the horror that lies at this terminus later, so provided we live through it. I want to know. Is that a terrible idea? What is over there? Looks like... Oh! I went in. Oh wait, is that... The bones of a... Anglerfish? What? How do I get in there? Ooh. Ooh, that's so interesting though. You make me want to explore it. Oh man, there's like bones. Can I go inside this somehow? I don't know how to get inside there. The fact that there's an anglerfish on this planet is very odd. Oh, frick, 60 seconds of oxygen remaining. I got very distracted. Oh, I don't know where my ship is. Um, I don't know what the best method to get out of here is, so we're just flying straight up. We are just going back the way we came. Where's my ship? Oh, shoot. Where is my ship? Um, ship, 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 ship. Ship. Where's my ship? Trees! Oh, yes. Trees. Oh. This doesn't help my fuel problem. Fuel level critical, but trees! Come on, get up here before my fuel runs out. Okay. We're at least not going to die. I light a campfire. Church research notes, property of church. Clearly the Nomai were making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is this big rotating device for? What is it the Nomai were observing? 
I'd pose that there's something special about the orange symbol on that device. HAL and the new astronaut's translator tool would be nice to have handy about now. So is this... Oh, yes, jetpack refuel. Heck yeah. Um, we got a scroll, but not a wall to put it in. And... Does that mean the big, the big spinny? Ah, uh, yes, the larger, the larger eye locator is here. All right, let's equip the translator and read this. This planet sometimes and only sometimes has a moon. This is also of note; it disappears if no one is watching it. It's not a fascinating or orbital characteristic. I found your note, uh, Melore. Kindly count me among this moon's admirers. What is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist. Does it move to another location? I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Hearth as well. This is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it. Or even better, we should travel there. I agree. Our first step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so we can always know where it is. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. Yeah. Cool. Let's pop that one out and put this one in. What does this one say? The quantum moon locator is functioning. Ooh, so instead of building an eye locator here, they built a quantum moon locator? We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Anona, Burr, uh, and I observed the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locators now accounted for all the phantom moon locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device? It's also possible there exists a sixth place in the star system to which the phantom moon travels. You have keen eyes, my friend, so this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. And now, possibly six. So is that the, the eye, then, where it travels? Oh, look at this. Whoa. So is that the quantum moon? currently orbiting our planet oh no now it's currently orbiting dark bramble I see it yep there it is currently orbiting dark bramble and then if I look away from it then it moves oh where's it going where's it going oh it's not anywhere I can tell at the moment Interesting. Very, very interesting. So this is the quantum moon locator, which is really fascinating. We got a little bit of trees over here. It's just a little, like, outcropping. Looking over the cannon. We might as well go to the cannon now. Since we're over here, there's my ship. Oh, slow down. Ow. It's fine. All right, let's just yeet ourselves into the cannon. What's the worst that could happen? Ta-da! So where is this one at? Is this the one that's... Where is this one at? Currently at the comet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Okay. Sunless City is down this way. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, I've already seen this ship because I've been to the the watch oh look at all the ice on it because uh, I, I did I I wasn't able to go inside here was I I fear our situation may be dire uh, we landed on the comet heard strange energy readings below the surface oh, if, ooh, ooh, I can get below the surface Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comic's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle and look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke, Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. So there is a way to get below the surface of the comet. That is good to know. Oh, they got a suit there okay that is good information to have um, I don't remember if I'd read that before or not there's so much stuff yeah, let's go towards the sunless city shall we uh, oh, I'm making a lot of good progress oh darn it ow 
Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to step on that. Is there a ghost matter in there too? Holy crud. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. The gravity cannon's not the way to go then. Oh man. But in order to get into the lab, I have to make it to the Sunless City. Shoot. This planet is going to be tough to crack, I think. It looks like there's about all I can do here. I'm going to launch it off into space, see what happens. Whee! Did I just send it into the sun? I think I did. Ow! Gosh darn these things. Ow, can I... Whoa. What is that noise? Come, um, oh, the gravity cannon's on. What if I launch myself out of the gravity cannon? It's probably a terrible idea. Should I do it? For science? Ah, I can't reach it from that far away. Dang it. Okay, that's fine. Whee! Wow, this is really getting filled up. Oh yeah, yeah, the, everything below here just becomes totally inaccessible. Dang. Yeah, so this planet, you're gonna have to work fast and have a plan. Jeez, okay. Well, let's keep exploring the stuff on the surface while we can. But I'm definitely gonna have to find a path below because it seems like most of everything is below the surface at this point. Oh, that was a little painful. And I'm out. Let's wait for that to go up. And we. Is that like some sort of force field around that? Is that like where the planet was? Oh, there's so much stuff that I can do over there. Because that planet's so small, now everything's uncovered. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Oh, don't suck me in. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Fuel level critical. Oh, no. Get. Oh, no. Am I going to be able to get back up? I'm on. Oh, heck yeah. Perks of the gravity being so low. Okay. Well, this is... Duh, of course. If this planet fills up and gets bigger, the other planet is going to get smaller. So, obviously... Let's go check out that planet now that we're close to the end of the cycle. Oh, wow. There's so much stuff exposed. Wow. Man, that... Holy crud, this planet's like totally different now. Wow, you can actually see a planet. <laughs> Not all just covered in sand. Oh, I need to refill my fuel. I almost just left without doing that. Let's definitely do that. Alright. Let's check this thing out. Holy crud. It's sucking up the whole entire planet. Oh, shoot. I don't want to get in that. No, my ship! No, my ship! Ah, rip. Oh well. Let's go check this out. So this is a heck of a lot lower. Still doesn't look like I can access it. It's still sealed off pretty darn well. Oop. Yeah, this thing... I don't know if I'm going to be able to figure out what's inside there. It's over the big bridge. Big bridge is obvious, the big obvious, most interesting thing here. Uh, okay, come on, come on. I'm on. Shoot. Oh. No. Yeah, gravity works so weird here. Up we go. And then we land here. And then up we go again. Oh, oh, ow. Oh, there's an Omai. Rip. Man, there are so many of these dudes. Whoa, what is this room? This looks like the quantum... Oh, it's missing a scroll. Find a scroll, find a scroll. Ah! Okay. Is there a scroll in here? No. Interesting. Hmm. Let's see, can I walk 
up here. Um, oh, shoot. Frick. No. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we're good. We, we, uh, we're in between two planets right now. Um, if I just put a little bit of downward momentum and cancel it out. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, we're already at 50% fuel. I'm wasting so much fuel just flailing about. Okay. Okay, let's follow this and go to this side. Man, this is nuts to look at. Jeez. And basically the entire planet's covered on that one. Wow. Alright, let's go in here. What is this room? Man, this place is fancy. This is one of the fancier places we've been. Some kind of like observatory room? or That's all there is to this, huh? Huh. continue. There's another building. Oh, shoot. Man, that sun is about to go. Any minute now that's gonna go. Oh, okay. Let's do this, shall we? What is this? Uh. Here's our first delivery, Yara. One warp core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. My gratitude. With this, the Ash Twin Project is underway. I confess I'm deeply curious about what you and Poke found on Whitehall Station that started this project. Could I visit sometime to learn more? I recommend you do. The Whitehall Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin Project, so a vision to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose more precisely, I would like to visit the Whitehall Station with you, Clary. Yara, stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister. In romantic matters, her destiny rivals a neutron star. <laughs> and go meet her on the White Hole Station. I'd be happy to explain our findings. Wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. Interesting. Very, very interesting. We don't have any more scrolls. Okay. Yoink. Pop out and does it keep going? Holy crud, the sun. Jeez, we're basically touching the sun. Oh my gosh. Am I getting picked up by it a little bit? Oh it's yeah, it's it's goopy alright. Holy crud. Wow. Okay, where does this take us? There's so much stuff here. I'm like, I kind of want to go through this before everything ends, but... Well, that's an up. Oh, well, how do I get down? Well, I suppose I could just go beneath it. Yep. Sweet. Okay, so that's just an up. Oh, shoot, no, I didn't want it. No. It's just a quick up. Holy crud, the sun is making some real terrible noises. Ooh, ooh, we can access this. It's totally out. It's totally empty. Let's go in. What does this do for me? Ooh, I'm going inside. Is this the thing that's sealed? Am I going in the sealed room? Oh, no, not the music. Not now. Well, that just popped me up. That just takes me from the bottom to the top. But that's not helpful. No. I'm on to something here. That can't be all this is. There's got... Is, so this is the thing that's sealed then. Down here at the bottom. This... It's inside the core of this planet. All these just take me up. These are just transport... Transports up and out. What is this? What is this? I don't know. Oh, there's so many pieces. I can't end yet. This is only accessible, like, right at the very end. There's something huge here. But what? Does one of these lead down? No, this all leads up. This all just leads up. 
I need to get deeper, not higher. Shoot. Huh. Man, oh, this is so fascinating. Look how cool this is. Oh, goodbye. And we are gone. Dang. Ah, farewell. Oh, man, there's so much. So I got to go to the uh, Ember Twin first and do everything at the bottom. And then I got to finish at the Ash Twin when it's completely empty. Man, that was a really successful run. That was awesome. All the way back. But I think after that great success, that is a good place to wrap up this episode. Man, we have learned so much. Um, let's look at the logbook before we wrap up and let's summarize what we learned today. And then we'll call it an episode. This was amazing. All right, up we go. View the ship log. Give me all those pieces. Quantum caves. Lake bed cave, which we didn't even go to. Escape pod 2. Anglerfish fossil. Quantum moon locator. Sixth location. Ash twin towers. Look at this. Everything's coming together. Several large towers rise from the Ash Twins equator. The white hole station we use is a model for these towers, which were built for the Ash Twin project. Okay. And we got the quantum moon locator. No my device to track the quantum moon's location. The no my hypothesized that the quantum moon might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. It travels to a total of five. Sometimes disappears, possibly to an unknown sixth location. There's the quantum caves, a strange wandering rock that appears in multiple caves. Uh, it was first spotted in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed on the North Pole. He vanished. So he maybe got transported with the rock or something. We got a gravity cannon from the quantum moon. We got the Sunless City. There's a path leading to the high energy lab from the Sunless City. The path was blocked. Escape pod two. All three of this, uh, one of the three pods that crashed. All three were launched from the vessel, which was badly damaged. I found a cave with an anglerfish fossil inside, but the opening is only big enough for my scout. And the hanging city, there's more to explore there. Man, there's there's so much to explore everywhere, dude. Uh, wow, there's a lot for the frozen Nomai shuttle. There were three aboard, one of them stayed. Uh, so I wonder if the interloper starts to melt over time, and then you can go inside of it. Because there's subsurface energy reading. Man, there's... So much stuff. White Hole Station. Um, man. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Dark Bramble, Giant's Deep, Quantum Moon. Oh my gosh, so many, so many pieces of this puzzle. I've never technically done anything that let me scan Hollow's Lantern, which is interesting. But we will have to do that in the next episode. There's there's a lot to do, a lot to explore, and I'm really excited to continue. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. And I am really excited to continue this, and I hope you guys are as well. It's definitely going to be keeping these videos up on the channel, even though Metroid Dread is very exciting. I am enjoying this game too much to, to stop, which is pretty surprising because Metroid is like my favorite franchise ever and it's not gonna 100% dominate the channel <laughs> so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time later